Alright, hello fellow Paleans, welcome back to Paleo, and welcome to the adventure as we are just about to carry on today and uh, hopefully try to do some more quests. I'm gonna definitely try my best uh, to finish up more of the quests and not only that, but I'm gonna even try to get more quests unlocked. Of course, one of our main quests so far is to find our sheep, um, which I'm not quite sure exactly how this is gonna go. I'm guessing we gotta at least reach a level 3 uh, relationship with one of the Paleans in order for this to happen. But until then, uh, let me just see what we gotta do today, because we do have a little bit of mail from Badroom. I bet you already know that the secret of growing up and strong is eat your veggies. I know, buddy. I'm trying to grow as many veggies as I can possibly get. Uh, currently, as you guys can see, we have two farms. We have a farm for uh, glow worms, and we have a farm for normal worms. And I absolutely love it, because I'm gonna be able to get... Oh my god, look at all the fertilizer we got. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna be able to get my hands on a ton of resources. And money by simply selling all this stuff. Uh, oh, geez, dude. The thing is, I gotta get my hands on better chests because you guys can see I've reached my limit and I cannot place any more chests either, which is gonna make things a little bit more difficult. Ooh, and we also have the um, better fertilizer because of this thing. Are you kidding me? <sighs> that is gonna be so, so good. So good for sure. What other food do I gotta place here? So we have uh, tomatoes. Interesting. I place a lot of tomatoes in here to make me a lot of fertilizer and these um, glowy worms, which I absolutely love. This guy's gonna have to go in here, but I have no uh, slots anymore to add more. Uh, look at all this. All right, let me try to collect all my farm. Come on, buddy. Give it all to me. I need a lot of food. I also need to start uh, start to make stuff, I guess, because we are currently doing very, very bad when it comes to uh, resource management. I need a lot of chests. That is something we need. Alright, let me also prepare this one. Oh, I messed up. Take it. Come on, buddy. You got this. One, two, three, and perfect. Lastly, add it in here. Add another one. Stir it up. We're very hungry. I'm also gonna get myself a lot of hunger for myself simply because I want to have it. It is very cool that you can also cook together with your friends as well. Everything you do in this game, you gotta do it together with your friends. All right, eat this, eat this, eat this. Okay, so we made one set is done already, so let me make more. I'm gonna try to at least have some army as well. Uh, oh, if I'm not mistaken, I also have to make my way to the mayor because I gotta give him uh, one of these ramens. I'm pretty, pretty sure he requested one of these ramens. And there we go, we are done. I think I should have nine of them so far. I also ate a few of them, of course, because I really, really needed it. Uh, more things that we gotta do. First of all, I gotta make sure I have five carrots on me. Oh my God, look at all the carrot seeds. Are you kidding me, game? Holy smokes, we got so many. Potato seeds, we got a ton of them. And they're all high quality, that's what I love about them. Look at that, we have so many resources. They're gonna have to sell a little bit. Not to mention, I need the carrots. All I gotta do now is just make my way to uh, bring the crops to Kenley. And also I gotta go to the mayor as well to also give him one of the soup. So that is great. Look at that. <laughs> if I do a pass like this and uh, then one more, it's probably gonna be enough to water everything down. I have enough, that's the thing about uh, all the wood that I'm selling. I'm kind of shocked that this, the hard wood, is the same value as the normal wood. It definitely should be better prices. Also, the uh, this one as well. I mean, look at how much we have. We have 400, seriously. All right, that's going to be 4,500 coins for all these things that I'm selling. That's going to be quite a bit. Uh, currently, we only have how much? 4,000, so I'm going to be up to 8,000 coins very soon. i got to make myself this uh, fishing accessory that I add to my um, fishing attachment. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to make another one. All right, so Kenley is 150 meters away. We also have the farmer over there that i got to chat with. So let's see. Oh, you know what? Let me also have a quick chat with this fella. In this game, apparently, the more you speak with characters and the more Just you interact with them, the more you unlock more things that you can do with them. I don't have time for this. Mm. Have you seen my plant hound? He's much more than just a pet to me. He's my dear friend and a companion. Please alert me if you see him in the forest. I wouldn't want any harm to come to him. Ooh. Okay. Whoa, what? 
What is that? Oh, I think I just got myself an achievement, and for that, I got something I can place back home. Oh, that is so cool. Gonna be so cool. That's enough. All right. I really hope that in the future I'm gonna be able to get myself one of these pets for myself. That's gonna be so awesome if that's gonna be a thing. Um, nobody in the library just yet. Let me chat with Bad Bad Baduru first before I'm gonna chat with anybody else. I think he is inside here. Yes, he is. Hey, Badru. Well, howdy, Sproutling. I'm sure I'm impressed with your garden. You are suddenly got the right stuff for it. And I've got even more for you. Check out my recipes. All right, so I can, of course, buy more soil to increase it. Recipe to make quality fertilizer. Hmm. Recipe to make fine uh, ingredients here. But I want these ones. Oh, blueberry bush seeds and apple tree seeds. I cannot wait to get these two. Oh, there's even a better one. So there's a speedy goat fertilizer, and the one that we have is currently, what is this one? Fertilizer that increases the number of crops. Oh my god, it's gonna give me so many crops. Oh, jeez. I think I'm gonna like this one more than the uh, speed up one, to be honest. Yeah, for sure. Uh, can I give him something? I guess I could, I mean, what is he gonna do with worms? Can I? No hard feelings, but I don't want it. <laughs> Uh, if I had some fertilizer on me, he would definitely... Oh, he wants potatoes, apparently. Hold up, Badru. Like bananas and peel out. <laughs> Let's make, like, bananas and peel out. Uh, I'm definitely going to want to give him that... Uh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me go in the store. Buy me one potato and give it to him. Because I know he wants it. Store. Oh, they're so... Exp oh, these are just seeds. Does he actually not sell potatoes himself? No. I should have gotten myself more potatoes from back home then. Anyway, we're going to remember. So we got to bring uh, Badru some potato. Apparently, that's what he, he needs. Uh, let me make my way to the mayor then. Let me give him his request. And also give him a, a bit of ramen. I'm pretty sure he wants that. Hopefully, he still wants that today. They might actually change their request every day. I see harvest everything I asked for. Thank you. If it wasn't for you, I would either have to evict an entire family out of their home uh, or embarrass myself in front of my sister. Given that I find this uh, second choice completely unbearable, well, it's a good thing uh, for the daisies to come through. Tell me, do you ever struggle with uh, feeling like disappointments? Sometimes. I know how I feel. My father tells me I was a very uh, scrawny baby who used to cry all the time. Mm. I feel like I did nothing but disappoint him since the moment I was born. Then he passed, and now I live in the Eshe. My only hope is that I can bring uh, some small amount of joy to the uh, to the dryery, ordinary lives, and the common villagers, like you. All right, bud. And here is the ramen. Oh, this is exactly what I needed. Maybe you'll be able to finish uh, what Eshe asked me about last week. Maybe I'll... Uh... Hey, there we go. Unfortunately, he didn't give us a quest just yet. I'm probably gonna have to keep on increasing my uh, relationship with him. And eventually, he will give me something. Let me have a quick chat with uh, Kenyatta. Welcome to the city hall. The magistrate's office is to my left. I know. Yeah. I hear you're getting close to the mysterious cook. Let me know if you end up learning his secrets. I've been dying to know what his deal is. Okay, I increased uh, my relationship with uh, her a little bit. Can I give her one of these? Nope. What do you want to eat, though? Whatever, Kenyatta. Whatever. <laughs> uh, while we're at it, let me go back in... Uh, no, not in here, Kenyatta. I want to go back in here and get myself another crafting license. I know they're expensive, but I need one more. Probably going to have to place some more things in my farm, and I definitely need it. All right, that's been done. Next, who else? Who else is going to be on the list? Let me chill with Tish. Uh, no presents that I gotta give her, but... If you need a hobby that helps you relax, I recommend learning to craft furniture. When I start working on all my stress, will melt away. We have some DIY kits for sale if you're interested. Uh, she's got so much furniture. I cannot buy anything from her, though, just yet. Alright, Tish. Uh, let me go in the shop here. So this is kind of something I'm doing every single day. I'm trying to chat with every single character you to keep on improving my relationship with them. And hopefully unlock more quests. If you're in need of fertilizer, I got plenty. And I'll give you a good price too. I'm tired of stinking up the sore. Ah, that stuff is ripe. <laughs> Alright, got nothing to give them either. Dude, Sorry. stop puking. What are you doing? 
Uh, what about Hecla? Uh, Gina seems very absorbed with her work at the moment. I must admit, I hope it provides a pleasing distraction. Being too obsessed with the work is not good for mental, uh, for mental health. Nothing that I got on me that I can give her. Goodbye, Hecla. Alright, next up is gonna be Jill here. Ah, what a beautiful day to create art. There are many ingredients in the valley that allow you to make beautiful di uh, dyes. If you have to look hard enough, and you'll find the beauty of the most unexpected places. Hmm. Ooh, he's giving me a quest. There we go. Are you okay? Oh. I'm sorry. You seem to have walked into me uh, in a wrathful, pitiful state. If you ever find yourself uh, whipping over the beauty of the stars, uh, no. Mm -hmm. I suppose I can expect a non-artist to understand what it's like knowing you'll never make something equal to the beauty. <laughs> you see, I came to the village in a sort of an artistic uh, pilgrimage. Huh. For in Pelia, there is no such concept as simply being born into greatness. Even those born into artists and families like mine just earn their place. Before I can stitch the name Omiara into my clothing, I must earn the right to do so. I have an idea for a garment that will truly take Bihari by storm, but first, I need to find purple shells. <sighs> And sadly, my search thus far has come up short. Hmm. Well, I guess I gotta bring him some purple shells. I, I think I had a few, right? I gotta bring him five shells, apparently. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have a few. Care to try my world famous suit? Had a feeling you'd stop by. Shinnok is a rad meat. Uh, so you wanna make sure to sear it on high uh, heat to get a really good charm. Chapa is uh, way lighter, so dredge it in flour to keep it moist. Both are really gamey though. Hmm. Okay. Can I gift you this? Ah. Oh, hey, Yumi! Just what I was craving. Is it soup or noodles? Who knows? I mean, don't. Seriously. Life is full of mysteries. Awesome! Leave for mysterious reasons. We got, of course, a new gift for him, which uh, eventually gave me some more renown and increased our relationship with him. Uh, next is gonna be Neo Need here. Some heavy lifting? Ooh, how things go with uh, Kenyatta and your mom? Oh, uh, they hate me. Somehow I managed to mess up both things. We lost the competition, and I was like an hour late to the concert. Your mom doesn't hate you? Kenyatta will be over in a few days. Your mom doesn't hate you? Maybe not, but she's pretty disappointed. <laughs> I thought I could make things work if I'd just been faster or smarter or something. I wanted to make them both happy. Guess I have to try harder. Thanks for checking in, but I better get back to work. Uh, Sundrop in Kenyatta is Rift Rock. She named it after the Sundrop lilies that grow around here. You wouldn't know it, but Kenyatta really loves animals. It's one of the things I like about her. You want to learn about farming? Ask my dad. All right, buddy. Uh, we increase the relationship with him a little bit more. Uh, what about Gina? There's so much to learn. I was so lost in my research, I didn't notice you. I scanned the circular imprint that looks like a lock and found traces of flow in the shape of a transformation room. That means someone must have pressed an object with that room um, with against the imprint. And what else would they do that if there uh, was no key? Hmm. Interesting. I really should get back to it. <laughs> Alright, Gina. Uh, okay, so we got all that going. Next up, what do we got here? Oh, we got Ashura. Take a load off. Night is a magical time in the uh, astrological cycle. Keep your eyes out for glowing flora and fauna. I've always been enchanted by the abundance of both bioluminescence and uh, magiluminescence you can uh, find here. Can I actually give you one of these then? Oh, My pockets are full. Take make it. the most of each day. Since he said about bioluminescence, I was hoping he would like the glow worm. Well, in that case, let me make my way back home. Let me try to get uh, potatoes. And uh, bring potatoes to the farmer. We know when he wants that, right? At least I want to get that off my mind. Because if I do that, I may get more quests. Now currently we have a uh, quest for shells. Which I think I may have a few back home. Man, that guy's fast. <laughs> you can actually snipe him if he's trying to go in the ground. We got him. Eventually. Wasted quite a few arrows there, unfortunately. I think I also used some of the good arrows as well. Hey, look at all those coins! Awesome. That's a ton of them. Okay, so. We got more worms. Dude, added to my collection. Got 17 worms now. Perfect. Now, what I want to do. Let me also make my way to the Phoenix. Because I want to spend some of the renown that we just got. Uh, just to increase my bonus 
for the focus a little bit more. That is apparently very, very important. I haven't really noticed the difference, to be honest. I'm pretty sure there is a difference. Uh, if you're loading stuff without the uh, the focus, and uh, if you're loading stuff with a lot of focus, I'm pretty sure there is. I just haven't been really paying attention on it. But as much as I'm going to have Renown, I'm going to increase it as much as possible using the Phoenix here. There we go. We are up to 57.5. There we go. That's what I want to see. Now, hopefully I'm going to be able to uh, get more resources, more high-quality ones. The chances are probably going to start increasing. And with that, let me also make my way over here because I really want to see uh, where I'm supposed to go fishing next. So, if I want to catch the blue marlin for this guy, I need... Found off the coast of Bahari Bay using worms. So, normal worms at the coast of Bahari Bay. Okay. So, at the coast of Bahari Bay, normal worms. Next, we have this one. Bahari Bay Caves with glow worms. Okay. So, we know what this one needs. Um, for this one, pawns using glow worms. So, it doesn't say Bahari Bay. So all I gotta do is just go into the ponds. This one. Uh, Coast of Bahari Bay using glow worms. Mm hmm. Okay. Found in Kilima Lake using worms. Okay. And found in Kilima Lake using glow worms. Okay. So we got Kilima Lakes that we gotta try to find some fishies. So uh, I may just be going only on Kilima today. Gotta do a lot of fishing today. For sure. I love that the UI and everything gets removed when you uh, were fishing. Just allowing you to uh, enjoy. Ooh, what is this? I think this one is, is a rainbow fish. Let's see. A mirror crab. Or carp. Looks pretty cool. Alright, let's see what this is. Hopefully a very high quality one. And something that I didn't catch before as well. Oh, you know what? I don't think I ever caught one of these before, so I do not know what this is. This might be the one that I need. A beluga sturgeon. Oh, it is not what I need, but it looks amazing. Flow achieved. You caught 200 fish? Awesome. Alright, let me try another one. I cannot wait to have myself uh, one of those aquariums to just place these awesome fishes inside. Oh my god. What, what, what? Dude. I could barely see him jumping. That was super crazy. Come on. You're mine. An enchanted puffish. I think that's one that I needed for the vault, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure I needed one of those. Pretty sure I needed an enchanted fish. And I think that is exactly the one that we just caught. Ooh, another sturgeon. Not bad. Come on, buddy. Alright, a beluga sturgeon. Awesome. Forging level 9. Hey, we're increasing our levels left and right. You know what? While we're at it, let me make my way to... Uh, hold up. What is this guy selling that I didn't get? We have all this. Uh, let me make my way to the vault real fast. Because I know that I have one fish at least that I got to place in there. And as I'm going to do that, I'm also going to refresh my memories of all the fishes that we got to catch in this area. It's this guy. Hey, the enchanted pup fish. I knew it. I also have to make my way to the uh, fisherman brew to buy this fisherman brew, actually, I want to say. So this one, Bahari Bay. This one, found in Kilima Lake using worms. A mysterious fish that can sometimes be in two places at once. What does that mean? Found in Kilima Lake using worms. Hmm. Kilima Lake. Okay. Contribute then. At least we got rid of the enchanted pupfish. I really hope I'm going to be able to find some sort of a book that's going to show me uh, a list of all the bugs or a list of all the fish. Uh, just so that I know how many I still have to collect and what I caught so far. Oh, look at that thing. What is that? I never got one of these things before. What? It's like a stingray. A flame tongue ray. What? 
Well, that would look awesome. You caught your first epic fish. That was worth it. Awesome. <laughs> Let's share with the normal worms as well. I have to get myself some uh, focus because I'm kind of low on focus here. Gonna need to cook again. We got so much work to do. Rebelli Piranha. I have only four worms left, so hopefully I get something. Ooh. What is this? This one's a very, very red one. A Scarlet Koi. Not bad. Oh my god, my inventory is full. Are you kidding me, game? <laughs> um. Okay, uh, what am I gonna get rid of then? These ones also need to be open, so we have so much stuff. I don't wanna... I don't wanna get rid of anything, that is the problem. Except for this bug. Alright. Let me use a normal worm then. Let's see what I can find. Kalima Catfish. Hmm. Again, we are full. Nothing I can do about it. Well, in that case, let me make my way back home. As I'm going to make my way back home, uh, let me go have a quick chat with some peeps. Uh, first of all, the farmer. I got to get rid of the potato. So let me mark down the farmer. Hey, everybody. I got more stuff for you. Why, hello there. Hey. Uh, gift? Oh, the gifting is glitched. Are you kidding me? There we go. And potato. Hey, thanks for this pod, bud. I bet I can make something tasty with this. <laughs> See you later, hot potato. All right, buddy. We're done with that mission with him. <laughs> See you later, hot potato. What are the coincidences? Uh, what is the constant? That's a coincidence because I actually gave him a potato. Uh, so we are currently at 130 right now, which means I can actually also upgrade my character once more. As I do this, though, I want to try to catch me more fish. And I want to try to catch me more fish in the ponds. I was like, keep on exploring and uh, unlocking more and more things. I'm starting to enjoy the game more and more, to be honest. It feels super cool that everything you do in the game uh, kind of like upgrades a specific, that specific thing that you're doing. So I got the fishing to level 8, which is awesome. Right, the Myrian Hour is all the way to 60% of the focus bonus. Awesome. Alright, that's more like it. That's gonna be so cool. I'm definitely going to spend all my renown that I get from now on uh, on the upgrade here at the Phoenix because I want to get the focus bonus all the way to 100%. I don't know if it's going to go over 100% at one there. It might actually. It might even go over. Definitely going to go over. And now that I got all these fishies, let me also place them inside the house somewhere. Uh, actually, I may just have to sell them all, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, let's just sell them all. So, what do we got here? We got a golden salmon. Found the Kalima Rivers using worms in the morning and day. I don't think I need this one. Uh, Bellied Crucian Carp. This one looks super, super cool. I'm gonna place it in here. A Platinum Enchant. This one, the Flame Tongue Ray. I'm gonna actually save it because it looks amazing. This is gonna be sold. Scarlet Koi. Sold. Painted Perch. Man, we got so many fishies. All sorts of them. Uh, sell that, that, this one looks super cool, the mirror uh, carp, so I'm gonna save that one because I kind of like the look of it. Uh, one of them is gonna be sold, one of them is gonna go here, the belugas, platinum chat, save it, and another beluga. What about this one, the Kalima catfish, sell. Alright, we got rid of it. That's gonna be 1300 coins, that's quite a bit. Have you ever wondered how to find the most magnificent fish in the depths? If not, there is no need to shop by my, sh my shop. If so, I will teach you the recipe for something that allows you to track fishing nods. Ooh, that is so cool. Uh, you've really grown as you come to Kalima, and I couldn't be more proud of you. Stop by later, and I got the final recipe to teach you. Ooh, okay, the final one from him. Uh, he's also giving me some wood. Thank you, buddy. Didn't really need that because I have a ton of stuff. But hey, I'm not going to say no to more stuff. Uh, also, what I got to do is, of course, open up all these chests. Seven open. All right, what did I got in return? Hey, look at that. We got quite a bit of stuff, actually, in return. So this one can be placed in the kitchen somewhere, I guess. My house is pretty small. <laughs> so I don't really have space for it. Uh, I'm just going to place it there for now. Uh, we also have a light that I can place, let's say, about 
maybe here. Oh, look at that candle. And lastly, we have a shelf that I can place over here. That is so cool. The thing about this fertilizer is that it's also super easy to get. All you gotta do is just place some food inside the... Uh, think about Jake that's producing it, and that's all. You don't have to worry about anything else. Come on, buddy. What it all down. Well, in that case, you know what? Hold up. Let me make my way to in there. Maybe he's gonna give me something that's gonna help me find these rare fishes that I'm trying to find. Let's see. Let me see if that is a possibility. Hey, bud. What do you got for me? Greetings. You're rapidly becoming a fisherman of considerable size within a small size body of the water. If you desire to seek out the new locations of fishing, perhaps I have something that can assist you in your ventures, which is the tunic fork. But I don't have the money to buy it, of course. Hmm. That is cool. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get my hands on some more of that. Um, cool. Let me give to then a fish. This is here pleasing me. Thank you. I don't understand what Majiri or humans mean when they discuss the concept of work. I do what I do for pleasure for fulfillment of my own ends. It is not what all begins to. It's what I do. Good. I'm glad you are burdened by work. Personally, I could not bear to spend so much time away from my own ends. You are done with your face flapping. And yet you are still here. <laughs> Alright, uh, let me make my way to the pond then. And while I'm going to the pond, I'm also going to try to see what this guy has for me because apparently he's going to teach me his last uh, blueprint. You've really made our valley proud, Stanton. I see you really work to become a pillar of our community. And speaking of pillars, I see you ever need to cut something really, really tough down. I think you have just the recipe for you, which is this awesome one, the exquisite axe. Oh, uh, finally we got it. We finally unlocked it, but this is going to require... Actually, it doesn't require that much paleon bar or flow infused planks. I have enough to make it. Which is going to be amazing. Uh, they're going to have to pay attention so that it doesn't break down. So I'm not going to have to make it again. But uh, yeah, we unlocked it. All I got to do now is buy it. Uh, excuse me if I seem sort of uh, brief. Just getting my morning exercises. The healer says that it's important to get the blood flowing to my knees. Can I give them a fish? No. Try not to work too hard out there. All right, buddy. Okay, let me skip as I get to the pond then. And as I'm going to be fishing it here, of course, using the uh, glow worm. I'm going to use both glow worms in this one. And then I'm going to use a lot of the normal worms. Because eventually I will catch what I'm trying to catch. I know it. I just know it. It's all about luck. Hopefully I can catch the one that I'm trying to catch, though, with the glow worm. So I don't have to use the glow worms anymore. Or at least more like wait for more glow worms. Uh, currently this is not the one. Nope. It's definitely not the one that I need. Alright, let me try from a different perspective. Oh no, my item broke as well. Dang it, we're gonna have to make another one. Well, hopefully the uh, the fish that I'm trying to catch then is not gonna put up too much of a fight. Because that thing was definitely helping out. So that my fishing rod doesn't break too fast. Oh my god, I got a chest out of it. Come on, that was my final one. I really, really hope that, I really wish that whenever you're catching some of these things, you're not losing the glow worm. Because, of course, nobody eats it, right? Alright, and for the final one, um, yeah, not what I need. This is a Kalima, I think. Yep, a Kalima catfish. Man, I really hope that I would actually be able to find, uh, one of those golden ones, the big golden fish. And another one that I forgot what its name is. They're gonna have to keep on trying. Uh, maybe I'm gonna have to try on the other pond, the bigger one, by the ruins, because this one doesn't seem to. Yeah. This one doesn't seem to give me what I need. At least I'm getting a lot of chests, and of course, if you open up these chests, you are getting furniture. Which is not bad. Probably not gonna have uh, around my house, but I'm not gonna say to. Uh, I'm not gonna say no to some furniture. 
All right, well, you know what, guys? I think this is going to be the end of this episode of Pelia. Uh, we've been doing a little bit of fishing today. Uh, I was just trying to catch me some more things for the vault. Thankfully, at least we got one thing for the vault. Um, not enough. I still have to keep on going fishing, keep on trying to look for more. Uh, what I'm also going to do, I'm going to try to get myself a lot of those uh, golden, um, not golden, more like glowing worms. And uh, make my way to Buhari Bay because I feel like I'm going to have more luck finding the fishes that I'm looking for in there uh, than in this area. But anyway, guys, that being said, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, like, subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see you very soon in the next episode of Paleo. Bye, everybody.